Hey, I'm Elaf and today I'm going to show you how to do an at-home photo shoot for clothes and fashion items. Whether you sell these types of product yourself or help somebody else sell them like an agency or something, or you just want to create fun lifestyle photos with AI using specific products, I hope this video could be helpful to you. Casper uses the latest state-of-the-art AI technology to help you create and edit product photos the best you can on the market and we're constantly updating and improving the product based on your feedback and would love to hear if there's anything specific that you would want to see. If you have any other thoughts or comments, feel free to let me know. But otherwise, I'm going to get straight into it by sharing my screen and showing you how it works. Here I'm on the background remover tab and I'm going to start off with these trousers. I can upload a photo, but I did this earlier, so it's in my assets tab. And I'm going to click the green generate product photos to send it to the third AI product photos and editing tab. Once it's in the AI editor tab, I'm going to type in my prompt. In this case, I want it on a 35 year old tall black male model standing in a well lit studio, wearing these trousers, good physical shape, neutral background, full body shot, focused on fabric, texture and fit, and then click the green generate button. I'm going to save the first one by clicking on the arrow on the top right, but we'll also generate again to see how it looks. Now I'm going to edit the prompt to get a back facing pose so I can show you how they look from the back and generate a couple times. The AI will assume how it looks based on the input image, but if you want a different back photo, then you can upload a photo of your product from the back as well. And these are how the photos look side by side. Moving on to this product photo of a green hoodie, I'll send from the background remover tab to the AI editor tab like before. Now I'll write my first prompt, which I want on a 25 year old Caucasian male model, clean shaven, wearing this hoodie, full body, black jeans, good physical shape, side facing pose, clean gray background, close up texture visible on sleeves and hood, HD ultra realistic studio image, then click generate. I like how this one turned out, but I'm gonna regenerate to see how the product will look in the next photo. Next, I want to generate photos of the hoodie from different angles, a front facing pose and a back facing pose so you could see it from different angles. Once they're all generated, this is how they look side by side. We are working on using the same AI models. It's currently in alpha and I can make a tutorial on how to save the same model in a photo if that's what you'd like. Next is a photo of this grey t-shirt, sending from the background remover tab to the AI product photos and editing tab. You probably already know this process by now. Here I'm going to type in my prompt. In this case, I want a HD front facing pose of a 23 year old East Asian male model, full body shot, smiling, wearing this light grey t-shirt, natural daylight in a modern living room, focus on drape and material. Then click the green generate button. And now I'm going to do the same as I did before, which is get different angles of this model on the side, back and front and slightly rewording the prompt each time, then clicking generate. And now this is how they look side by side. Finally, onto this photo of a white nightdress, starting by uploading a photo or selecting one of my assets, then click generate product photos to send to the AI editor tab. On this tab, my prompt this time is going to be a 30 year old Swedish female model wearing this dress, full body shot, smiling in a modern cozy bedroom, crisp fabric, detail and shadows, ultra realistic HD, then click generate. I'll save the one I like by clicking the arrow on the top right, or you could regenerate if you don't like it or want some variety. And I'm going to edit the prompt to show her on the side and back like before, then save the photos. And this is how they all look together. So that's the tutorial. I hope it gives you an idea of how to create kind of product photos with AI, specifically clothes and fashion items. And I'd love to see if there's any other photos that you come up with. Otherwise, until next time, I'll see you soon.